Travel expert Onika Raymond has been vocal about the lack of diversity in the travel industry for years. In fact, for her entire career, Onika has aimed to inspire people of color to see the world, something she says isn't exactly easy to do when the travel journalists, the influencers, the bloggers and experts are inherently white. With more, I'm joined by Onika from her home in New York. Onika, good to see you. It's wonderful to see you as well, Lindsay. I know, I feel like it's been so long. All right, so you've written, <laughs> since we've chatted, so you've written about racism in the travel industry before, bringing up the fact that even though black people are traveling more than ever, this is not represented. What images are we seeing over and over again? So here's the thing. African Americans spent $63 billion on travel in 2018. However, when you Google the word traveler, you're bombarded with images of Caucasian people, typically male, um, and it just perpetuates the idea that traveling for leisure, for exploration, for empowerment is not something that black people and people of color do. And that's really, you know, it, it, it's terrible. It's not true. So this lack of representation means less opportunities for black people working in travel. What are some of the obstacles you have faced in your life? Well, personally, I've definitely been uh, passed over for jobs in favor of finding someone who was a better fit, and typically that person was male and Caucasian. Uh, but I think one of the other things that we see is a huge pay gap. There's a wage disparity. And so well, typically, uh, I believe it's uh, black women are paid 39% less than white men. So that means that for every dollar a white man makes in the U.S., <laughs> black women are only making 61 cents. Mm -hmm. And again, for somebody who's looking to get into the industry and make a living doing it and working in travel media, this is a huge deterrent. Yeah, the incentive certainly isn't there for that. In your opinion, what are some practical, actionable ways to fix this problem to increase diversity and inclusion in the industry? Well, one of the things that we can absolutely do is prioritize featuring diverse voices, um, and diverse perspectives. And that needs to really happen at the C-suite level. We need to see more brands and we need to see more travel companies uh, integrating or making sure that they're hiring more diverse talent in those managerial roles. Uh, we also need to decolonize travel writing. One of the issues that we see very often is that travel writing is very white-centered, um, and it's very one-sided in perspective. So when you hire somebody who comes from a diverse group, whether that's racially diverse or um, you know, sexually diverse, for instance, you get perspectives that are often more culturally sensitive. So that is extremely important as well. Who are some amazing travel experts that Canadians should know about? Well, I have to shout out my girl, Heather Greenwood Davis. You probably know her from the social. She's one of the travel experts on there. She's a contributing writer for um, Nat Geo. She also, well, she's a contributing editor for Nat Geo. She is also a contributing writer for Globe and Mail. Uh, and she has an awesome blog that is called Globe Trotting Mama. And she's one of the people I look up to most in the industry. Um, she traveled around the world for a year with her family. So her husband and her two young sons and they traveled to, I believe, 30 countries. Wow. So very big inspiration. And she is Canadian, a black woman. She's fierce, and I love her. Definitely follow her. Love all of that. And we obviously love you, love chatting with you. Thanks so much, Anika. Good to see you as always. Stay safe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.